Hey guys, Joshua Peterson here with Peterson Electric. Um, yeah, this video is going to be March of 2022. Uh, this is going to be labeled with my SEO guy, uh, how to plan for a backyard. Um, so I, I don't normally do any kind of landscaping, but it's something I did with my father. And this is something we did here at our house. So uh, I did other videos in the past on how to start a steel um, chainsaw. And we've done other videos on uh, RV and, and just other personal things that we've done in the past. So hopefully that'll help you guys out how to move a shed. I did one because I had to do that myself. So this video is going to be, um, I'll probably break it up into three videos just to keep it not so lengthy. Um, but yeah, just as a budget wise, uh, materials went up huge last year in 2021. So we were able to get some of our stuff below before that and some of it we did not. It just is what it is. Um, so yeah, real quickly, let me show you kind of here what we did. So if you guys are trying to budget like a shed, our HOA specifically had exact rules of measurements. It could not be over 75 square foot. So I didn't have the time in the dead of winter in order to build that. So I had that professionally built by a place in Loveland, not your box store, um, but it was about $3,800 with delivery and install. Uh, they did mess it up. They didn't listen to us about the height. So it was two inches, or excuse me, um, I think about four inches too tall. Um, it was pretty tall. Oh, sorry. It might have been a foot too tall, but they had to take it back out and redo it. Um, and so that had to be done. We did some extra cement work that had done. We, I did not do it myself. I wanted professionally hired. Um, this is a pad right here that we did. This part we ordered with the builder up here. And boy, what a, what a night and day difference, guys. Uh, for the gentleman who did this for me, he did a four PSI instead of a three. And his finish was really good. Um, as far as how he had a little bit of a tampering tool to keep that cement tighter. Also used more f um, fibers in there and then he rebarred it and then he also did a uh, road base in there. And every time I do a video it's like there's a plane or a trash truck or, or a, a lawnmower. And so this pad up here was already done by the builder we snuck in there and got it tampered because they weren't tampering anybody's cement so we tampered it before they poured but we had all of this poured as well so you can see the size of it that was about a little over 10 grand just to give you an idea okay um something we definitely saved up for because we wanted more cement and um basically The rest of this, I want to say, uh, was about $7,700. That's going to include, we did a ton of um, irrigation tubing that drained off of the gutters. And you can see it, I'll show you. When that drained, it drained out under the cement in here. And we literally opened all of this up 30 inches deep. Um, we had irrigation tube, we had squeegee, um, we had sprinkler system, we did our, our uh, electrical hot tub, 240 volt, one inch PVC, and then we did some 110 volt lighting, uh, some power plugs I'll show you in the next video, and then some low voltage lights. So we had a lot of things in this trench, and again, you're definitely going to have at the very bottom your irrigation tubing trying to drain right. And then you're going to fill that in with some squeegee. And then you're going to have your 240 hot tub, which you can have that with electric. You just can't have electric with gas. Um, actually, nothing can be with gas, even water. Um, and then you got 110 volt. And then you had your sprinkler system and heads. And then you put, bury all that back in, tamper it. And don't forget your ribbon tape at about six inches. And, uh, and then we got... All of that leveled. We did hire a guy to help us level with his bobcat. He had one of those really nice $80,000 bobcats. The ground was just getting so mushy from all of the snow. You can see this right here. This has been all winter building this house and it did not melt until finally now, but he finally been running this over for me because it was just a, a mud hole. Um, and that's why we did a lot of that, that drainage because look at the pitch of our roof. 
there's just so much roof when the snow's up there it just has to go somewhere to melt so we have like seven gutters we had to do um so yeah we got all that in and um let's see i'll show you the other side real quick and then i'm going to do another video i don't want these being too long for downloading purposes so again if that kind of gives you an idea of the trenches we had to trench this out right here deep because all of these gutters drain down this one this one this one and then this last other one right here drained down too. And so that, that all went to the back. And then we had two and a half tons of squeegee in here. To give you an idea of what two and a half tons of squeegee looks like, almost three ton. That black trailer right there that has my Kubota. And we did all that work with the Kubota ourselves and dug this out and buried it. But um, yeah, that pea gravel right there. To give you an idea, the gorilla cart, if you have the big one like I do, it was 20 of those gorilla carts. Uh, and that was about 2,000 shovelfuls for that trailer. So once we went to uh, Crystal Landscaping, they dumped it with their big, huge uh, cat. You know, we brought it home and then had to shovel it all in and then dump it all out. So that gives you an idea how difficult that is to do that. Now, squeegee in this stuff is very easy to shovel, but when you get into rock, it's not. So when it came into rock, we had it dumped out front. It was the size of that trailer. And then I rented a little bobcat, a small one that I could get through here. And I dumped all this rock. Anyways, guys, I'll do another video after this. Thanks for joining us.